Summer through fire, I hear stubby eyes for you. Uh, just give a call, don't we run anywhere with you? Yeah, you yeah, know my say, please tell me I'm your dream come true. We throw fuel on the fire, but it burned up quick. A door that's out of love, but it never disappeared. Don't you think the truth tastes so Staying up all in the west side Turning all my days into nights I was waiting up all in the west side Waiting for your call But you had someone else in mind All I had was love for you Love for you
love me Cause I don't think I love me anymore Maybe I think too much so I drink to rush all my demons out the door Tell me, tell me that it's all inside my head Alrighty, Concordia fans, we are back in action here this week as we have the start of our week after spring break was finished and we will now be getting some Valorant action here tonight. So first up, we have Concordia University white team up against King Tornado. And our first map will be split. On the side of Concordia University White, we have Emperor's Gaming, Backlashed Echo, The Bug O2, Tywood, and Reactions. Each of them coming in up against the squad of King Tornado, Big Wade, I Am Man. We have um, Brooke, Cello, and Paggy on the side of King Tornado. All right, we're getting things ready to go here on Split. Concordia University White has had a pretty decent season so far. It's been a little bit up and down, and had a couple uh, win. Uh, had a win just uh, last week, or not last week, but two weeks ago. So actually, riding off a little bit of a high as we go now into this break, and we're now here on ascent and getting things started off. It looks like. The defense will be Big Wade and I Am Man on the side of King Tornado. Watching here as we get things going. Big Wade's going to see that uh, he's got the camera going on up there. He's going to see that Concordia is going to just walk on to the B site. There is going to be a very good rotation from King Tornado to come in. And that's going to be Paggy taking out two members of Concordia. Or sorry, one member. Big Wade gets another one. And that's... Ooh, Big Wade able to take out more. As Tywood does get the kill back onto him. Tywood's simply going to crouch here. He's got to get past this before it breaks. He will do so. He does get one frag there up top. Will he find another one? As he sees I am man, but oh man, not gonna get it. And he doesn't get this last one as Paggy will find it. The 3k going over to Big Wade on the side of King Tornado. So pretty decent round ended in that gunfight that went down to a 2v1. Or 3v1, actually, and then Tywood was able to bring it down to a 2v1. He had some pretty good movement as well. Just was able to move himself into a couple different positions and make it close. So, I Am Man will be holding the B site here. and Pistol round coming through here for Concordia. As there will be a... Rifle there. Backlash Echo trying to get some shots. As mid pressure from Concordia trying to come through. We'll watch from Paggy's point of view here as Concordia now is looking to rotate somewhere else, perhaps. Making looks at that A site. They're all walking over there trying to be quiet. Paggy's going to check this so he'll see that nobody from Concordia is here yet. POV of Big Wade as he's watching this corner, just waiting. Concordia is going to be moving up here, though. And that's going to be Seloj finding one. KU Big Wade finds Backlash Echo. That's actually Spike down, even, which is going to be unfortunate for Concordia. As last man standing will be the bug, and he is going to get taken out by... Seloge in a flawless defense for King Tornado.
get things started here in the next round as King Tornado is I believe has an undefeated season so far they've been one of the top teams in the division that Concordia White is a part of this would be a pretty major feat to bring them down they've got a pretty good talented roster on their side two gold players a platinum player and then a couple silvers so they're definitely nothing to be Nothing to shy away from. They are uh, a, de a good team, and they will be hitting their shots. Concordia has to make their movements as best they can. Concordia now to move into this little elbow here. They're going to draw all the attention as that is going to be a kill from Brook. He finds one, isn't able to find another one as Reactions gets that kill. Emperor Gaming able to find a pick. Will this be a rotation from Concordia? It is going to be, and I wonder if King Tornado heard it. I would imagine they did, as there's enough action there. Right now, they have two members still there. Of course, they still have one of their members back on site here, Big Wade, and he's watching everything like a hawk, as he should be. Concordia is opting to push a couple members up the mid site, or up mid exactly where they should be but big wade oh man with two kills there and oh reactions able to get one reactions trying to find another oh he just guesses a little bit too far into the corner and defenders do get the win is that was a very good rotation from concordia just unfortunate there, they were not able to get the picks they needed to. They could have had two picks and gone straight onto that A site. But also just got mowed down. From Big Wade. Him and that Odin there on the B site. It was able to hold that down and totally lock it up. Concordia not able to push forward there. They will be down three rounds to none. Down, but not out. And they have really kept quite a few of these rounds close. Reactions over here, moving in with the team. Big Wade is going to be, of course, keeping a really good eye on that corner. Concordia simply waiting to see how things are going to go, as Big Wade should have an eye on Backlash Echo moving around, which is going to bring the rest of the team through. And that's going to be Big Wade able to get two kills. Right, or sorry, two kills right off the bat here. Find a third. So he gets the headshots there, the bug. And Backlash Echo both now going to rotate the other direction. We'll find Bruck here in the mid rotation. On the far side, we will see Backlash coming around, and they're going to fake as if they're going to A, but they don't know, of course, that Sellers is back there. He'll know that there's nobody there. So the defense for King Tornado just stays the same as it's a pretty solid defense from him. Big Wade, once again, right there. Not going to be seen as both Concordia members move on to site. And that is an ace for Big Wade as he was able just to uh, hold out in the center. Oh, uh, sorry, up on top of those boxes. And simply pick off the Concordia members one by one. Take a quick look at everything across the board as far as economy is going. It's going to be in a pretty favorable position for King Tornado. Obviously, Big Wade, 12 and 1 right now. The absolute carry for this team. And he's been holding really well on B. That, you know, it's not that. It, I'm, I'm going to give him a lot of credit. He has been not only really great locations for his cameras, but then also just positioning himself in a good position, getting his one ways down correctly. And in general. Being able to to have that kind of sphere of influence, especially if 
backlash. Echo is going to give it a pick, but I am man does find the pick back onto backlash Echo. His reactions is going to sit here, but that corner is being watched like a hawk. He now is going to take priority on this corner. So the rest of the Concordia squad is going to move up. CSLO just able to get one. He finds one. He'll find two before he is taken out by the bug here. Is the bug is going to move through, possibly looking just to rotate to A. They know there's at least one member on B. They're going to hear that, so they'll know that, of course, there's still that member there. Ty Wood does find one, but Paggy's going to find it right back onto him. Watching this site is yeah, Big Wade, and he'll find the headshot coming through. As it's going to be a f round six coming up here. Five to nothing, and Concordia struggling to find anything. I will say they're struggling to find the the finish to each round they're not really struggling though when it comes down to at least moving close to site there's just a couple different uh corners that they either are they're checking really well um they are finding some pretty good opening picks it's just coming down to kind of the closing the finishing off and getting onto a site that they're having a little bit of trouble with and going to be interesting to see how this goes down is that's a very far forward sage wall she'll be hiding right here behind it reactions to come around and backlash echo gets one brook though is going to be right there and man finds uh reactions kneecaps right there at the end backlash echo does rush him around the corner so gets the finish off there and there's a very very close fight all the way around and that's going to be revealing the enemy positions as they'll fake that they are running to some different spots and Peggy or Paggy is going to get that kill Man, Emperor's Gaming goes down because he wasn't able to get out of wasn't able to get out of there in time Big Wade does find Tywood there at the very end. As I don't even know what position he had gotten up to. He might have been just up here in the mid area. Was not paying much attention to where he was located. But that does send us to 6-0 and now. Concordia looking for something. They got to find some opportunity and... Like I said, they, they've been able to find at least an opening pick or something, but then the trade back usually comes in about two different mem uh, comes for two members of Concordia. And so it's sort of rough to watch, uh, or not watch, but rough for them to get a decent um, pickup because they also just immediately then fall. This could be a full-on ace, but nope, not going to get the kill. Are they going to see the members coming across? And they do see, uh, well, reactions will see Sejok there as a big way just continues to watch this corner in case there's anything on the backside. Paggy does find the bug, though. And the rest of Concordia now is stuck in this hole. And they've got two members stacked up there to try and catch Concordia off guard. Paggy's going to be low. As the Concordia members now try to rotate away from a site. As they are right now down two members. And of course, watching the B site as always is Big Wade. He'll be sitting over here in this off angle, so he'll be seen here. Does catch one through that. Backlash Echo is basically stuck there, and he actually gets taken out. And reactions will also go down. 
as the last member of Concordia, un oddly enough, is way on the other side. It's Tywood. I don't know if he just got left, uh, left behind or what. He's going to get found here, though. Oh, my goodness. How did... Bruck was not looking that way. Just was not looking towards mid. So Tywood will be able to live through that round. As it was a pretty heavy save round for Concordia. Not necessarily what... Uh, as they had to save to at least get back to a full rifle buy here, which they will do. That is going to be an op sitting in the hands of Reactions, as he's one of the oppers for the Concordia team. Or, I guess, the opper here on the Concordia White team. Um, one of two oppers on our, our two, between our two teams. And honestly, they'll be looking for him to just get these opening picks... But not only to get the opening pick, because Concordia's been getting the picks, like I said. They just haven't been doing well on the tradebacks that have happened here in the past little bit. Unfortunate Molly there. Now, King Tornado's going to know about this operator. Not only will they know about the operator, but they're going to have to find a way to shut it down. And for now, they will, as Concordia is going to rotate, they'll rotate through sewers, and they'll do so quite loudly. So you'll see the team from King Tornado able to rotate around in time. Backlash Echo fires a couple shots, as just Concordia has not been able to fight their way up this hill. And that is the bug, able to get two. That's Backlash Echo going to be able to find one as Tywood gets taken out. Bruck is going to be in this corner. They will get uh, the peek onto him. So Concordia now trying to look for an opportunity. Maybe they can move on to site for the first time here. They do have to deal with two members and 13 seconds remaining. As they do find one, eight seconds remaining. This will be the plant coming through. And there they go. Seven to one. Concordia University does find a round. And they had been, honestly, there was a couple rounds there. They were just on the fence. It was back and forth. And finally, they were able to push through. I think ramp right there was their biggest issue on a site. They just didn't take it quite fast enough before, and this time they did. They pressured it quickly, and King Tornado just was not quite prepared for that as, as Concordia had been moving slowly up ramp the previous times. So Concordia able to get around and do so in a pretty decent fa uh, fashion. Reaction's able to get a couple picks with his operator. They're going to look towards B-Site, but I will be completely honest. Big Wade has this on lockdown. He is able to watch basically every single angle here. He'll see Backlash peeking his feet through. Reaction's not even looking right now where he's usually at. And he finds him! So that's actually a nice pick there. That's a great opening for what Concordia wants to do here. Operator on the other side, and that's going to be I Am Man able to get a kill there. Backlash Echo in a very hairy position as they do get the res onto Big Wade. Sorry, wait, they didn't get the res onto Big Wade. No, they did. They did. I, I for some reason, was thinking they didn't somehow, but they did get it. He is now up there. I'm going to say in heaven, but that doesn't mean he's dead. That just means he's in the position called heaven. As Concordia is looking to try and rotate this as quickly as possible to the A site. As everybody was on B site. So if Concordia can get there first and maybe get some good positioning, they might have an opportunity. I am man will not see as they move basically right onto site. They will not know that he is also on site though. And they won't even be able to get him as he picks off two. Tywood able to get one here. Paggy is going to be up with that operator. And, oh, man, I am man with a 4K in that round. Absolutely cleaning up Concordia. Concordia just, I guess, expected them not to even be there, which um, wasn't quite smart as they were allowed to run away. And so, since they just didn't expect anything, they didn't even check on site. They they did check heaven, you know, checked in the upper 
um, areas, but just did not look on site for anybody. And uh, running on with their backs to site, trying to just to get the quick plant, um, wasn't going to, to pan out the way they wanted it to. But it was a pretty decent attempt. And they'll get another opportunity here with rifles to do something. As Concordia now is looking to try and push quickly onto site. They are trying to get this ramp pressure as quickly as they can, and they will get it. Because it will get walled off immediately. They're going to try and take as much ground as they can. Emperor's Gaming goes down, though, to uh, Sloge. And that's going to find absolutely everybody from the Concordia side with that Cypher ult. And that's going to be Solo's able to get reactions. Paggy does have the Operator that was in the hands of reactions before. And oh, he misses one there as the Bug is able to get the pick. Now we'll see whether or not Concordia can move on to this site at all. Paggy does get a kill, though, now finally, though, on the bug. Tywood is just going to peak this, but so much pressure. Right now from Paggy with that operator. And this is going to be unfortunate as Bruck was waiting there. Backlash Echo was just not going to be in a good position. He was trying to pull the cheeky little turnaround and split through mid to go back to the B site, but um, they were ready for it. And Bucky was there, ready to go. Potato aim indeed, Mr. Ty would potato aim indeed. So he's going to sit right here and gets a kill, actually, on I Am Man, who was not going to check that corner. We'll reveal where he is at to everyone else, but with the time done, actually a nice little end pick there by Ty Wood. He played patient. Not quite sure what Concordia is going to do now as they are down nine rounds to one. Still doing a good job. Still trying to move on, move and uh, adapt to this King Tornado team. But King Tornado able to have such a lockdown right now. They basically can leave Big Wade all by himself on a site and he holds it completely able to do that. I would say Concordia is doing the right thing here. They were getting, um, I think, the most success they had was when they were taking this mid pressure. And that's actually going to be finding her maybe in that corner. Emperor's Gaming gets the trade right across. Going to be reactions, trying his best to keep this pressure going mid as they're just a it's a full-on brawl in mid only i thought in league of legends you could run it up mid but apparently not we are being shown right now that you can run it up mid in valorant as well hiding in the corner will be one member of king's tornado finding two is buck able to find a third will not find reactions almost though as big wade finds emperor's gaming and Back on the rotation they go. Will they be able to beat Paggy as he's rushing back to the other side as well? Paggy will get to this position first, so he'll have at least peak opportunity. He has Operator, so he's going to see it. But that's going to be Reactions running now down onto Point. Big Wade, though, does have that Odin and is just going to be sitting there in the corner. That's going to get picked off, though. Paggy, though, with the Operator, you can't peek that, Tristan. Or, uh, Ty. His reactions is going to be down here now. Looking on the backside, not going to see him move down. Paggy is simply just going to sort of rotate around. They're going to play Ring Around the Rosie here just for a little bit. Paggy does just pick up a rifle. Now Paggy is moving down onto site. He's not going to know that Reactions is in heaven, and that's going to be a second round for Concordia. Very well done. Once again, they had, a, like I was kind of saying, they've had a lot of success with the mid pressure and basically just made mid an absolute mess, found some picks, forced uh, King Tornado back out of the mid area, and then when Concordia committed to B, King Tornado committed as well. So... It was good by Concordia that once they saw um, 
you know, once they saw Big Wade was deep on point for B site, they just rotated to A as quickly as they could and, uh, and did a good job of just playing around what the uh, opposing team was giving them there. They were giving them, not giving them, maybe mid-pressure, but definitely um, just a lot of opportunity there. And, oh my gosh, Buck is in such a weird position. He is able to survive all of this, though. He is now... Right here behind these boxes, Concordia is not going to be expecting that. I Am Man does get a kill onto Backlash Echo. And, oh, right there through the smoke, Reaction's able to find Buck. Or Brook. I Am Bread right there, and that's going to be a very deadly ultimate there. Opening up the skies is the Brimstone from... Oh, man, that's going to be... Solo's able to get a lot of damage down. He's going to throw as much as he can on the spike. And uh, it's going to be Reactions, the only man left here for just a little bit longer. And that was must have been right behind the corner because they were able to see him right there. As Concordia now will go to 10 to 2, switching sides. Everything spent in that last round, especially that was kind of why the Odin buy came out of Concordia. They just needed to spend something. We'll see what Concordia can do on defense. As I can almost tell you exactly what King Tornado will be looking to do. They'll be looking to rush site. It is pistol round after all. Rush site, find out who, see who you're going to see, and then. Get one or two picks and then plant as quickly as possible. It's the name of the game on pistol rounds. Trying really hide there. Hard there is Tywood. He's able to get one of them down. Throws down the one way. And that's going to be Backlash Echo able to find a kill there. Tywood finds Big Wade. As Concordia lets them onto site, but there's only three of them there. And that's going to be Reactions getting a pick one. The Bug finds a pick onto Brook, and that's going to be one member left. Paggy does find two, but the Bug able to find him, and Defenders win. Concordia almost bet everything on B site. And King Tornado did bet everything on B site. So it was just a really well-defended round by Concordia. The great one ways that um, obviously Big Wade was using before. Tywood also knows them, so he's throwing those on the B site. A couple pings out of King Tornado talking about this B site. They're looking to rush it again. We're going to have both reactions and Tywood here on site as they're going to smoke it off immediately. Moving through will be King Tornado here in just a second. Unless they decide to fake, which they will be. We'll actually go to Emperor's Gaming's perspective as he's going to know that they are running this direction. The push mid is going to happen. And that's going to be King uh, Big Wave getting a pick there. Emperor's Gaming gets a 3k though. And an absolutely... Astonishing move that nobody saw. Tywood, though, sitting here as it's going to be the Bug and Emperor's Gaming both sitting here just waiting to see what they do. Tywood has flanked them out and the rest of Concordia has seen that they're going this way. And that's going to be Brooke able to get the better of Tywood. 30 seconds left. Emperor's Gaming is going to watch here. He needs to be careful as we do have Brook moving down. Brook's only going to check it, though. He goes back up to heaven. That's going to be Brook sitting there. But that left. means that Brook is going to get onto site. Starts planting. Gets the plant totally down, but then... Gets taken out by Emperor Gaming. If Emperor Gaming had checked that a little sooner, he probably could have stopped the defuse, but 
honestly, he did a pretty good job either way, getting the final frag and 10 to 4. Defender win for Concordia. As we go on to round 15. So down still quite a few rounds is Concordia, but they've got an opportunity here to at least take a couple back in a row on defense. They've been doing a really good job of defending B. And we'll see now if that pays off as it looks like King Tornado will have the rifle by. So they're going to have a pretty big advantage coming into this one. Especially since Backlash Echo has not seemed to have bought anything quite yet. And with that, Emperor's Gaming is going to be sitting up here. And he does not find anything. I Am Man is going to take him out as they will have Heaven almost immediately here. Something that Concordia was struggling to do before and take anything on the site. Reaction's able to get a kill. That spike down, <clears throat> or spike, spike planted, sorry, on site. Right now, it has been a one-for-one -one trade. Tywood now rotating the bug. Sort of stuck on top of this wall. It's working to take out this wall in front of him now, and Backlash Echo going to get taken out. Reaction's moving around. As it looks like King Tornado honestly just looking to commit completely on this site. Tywood finds two, finds three. It's not going to be enough, though, as the timer is done. Tywood to find a nice 3K. Big Wade and Tywood both going down to the spike, but successful round for King Tornado. They'll get the spike planted and... <clears throat> It will detonate. Concordia, well done, though, as far as trying to at least take it back and get on site. And they just played it a bit too slowly with their rotations and not quite peaking when they should have. Watch from Emperor Gaming's perspective. Is We watch a lot from Concordia's perspective simply because it's easier for me. I sort of know where they're rotating to and from and everything. And <clears throat> Emperor's Gaming now. Going to move back a little bit further into heaven as the entire team from King Tornado now moves on to site. Not a lot of contest from the Concordia squad. And that's going to be Backlash Echo finding Selos as he just wasn't looking up. Not necessarily a direction he would always be looking, though. Just curious as to what angle Big Wade is watching there, and it's a good one. As that's going to be Iron Man taking out the bug, but he gets... Tr uh, Bruck is going to get traded on the other side. That's going to be Tywood finding a kill there, and the defuse will actually come through for Concordia as they only lose one member. And they'll take it to 11-5. to five. Concordia down and not out quite yet. They will win that round. And we go on. Concordia was in dire straits there on attack. They got a couple wins on the attack round, and now they have three wins here on defense. All that is needed by King Tornado is two or one more round to get to match point. They'll be able to buy mostly or full rifle buy from them and a little bit of a mixed buy from Concordia. Backlash walls off immediately, but that's going to be, of course, taken out immediately by King Tornado. They are moving through fast and furious in that mid through a, a mid push. And a nice uh, pre-fire, but he just doesn't get it. Unfortunately there. I am man to get a good pick. Wade does find the bug and Bruck able to find reactions. As they find Tywood. Tywood gets at least one. Emperor game Emperor's Gaming able to find one, and ah, gets picked off there. Team ace by King Tornado. Match point. Match point is what it will be, and Concordia honestly has done a pretty good job. Up until now, they've been up against a very tough team. Once again, King Tornado has not, I don't think, I don't know if they've even dropped a map um, yet in our series, uh, in the 
the division of the NECC that they're in and looking at the ranks of their teammates, their team members, it's uh, definitely showing. But Concordia has done a really good job considering all the odds to keep this one at least very close in every single round and even to win quite a few rounds. Reaction's gonna be stuck here just a little bit and smoked off of heaven. It's gonna be Backlash Echo. Spike is going to get planted and we'll see. As everybody is alive still from Concordia. And man, uh, Mildred uh, Bruck able to find two kills with his, <laughs> with the Sheriff, but uh, that will be Concordia going down on the first map of Split. So, we'll be right back with map two of this series. Let's take a quick look at the end score screen quickly. Obviously, Big Wade up on top. Um, but he is actually not alone up there. We had Paggy and Sloge um, also with 17 and 15 kills. Big Wade was kind of the leader there. He was like in double digits while everybody else had like maybe three... Um, kills in total but everybody else on his team matched up well tywood top fragging for the concordia squad doing the best he could and obviously concordia doing a pretty good job across the board almost double dig digits everywhere so we'll have a two minute break as that's what's been called so we'll be right back in just a minute 